it is the duty of every man every man not just one man or some men to uphold the dignity of every woman let me repeat that it is the duty of every man to uphold the dignity of every woman this is a quote from saint john paul ii that i came across years ago and it stayed with me like till this day and i feel like lately it has been like playing in my head over and over and over and over again and of course you you have this thoughts that come to you and you're thinking okay so what does that mean and again i'm not an uh, expert on the subject not at all this is how i feel like I, i'm like I'm a kid when it comes to uh, relationships and like romantic relationship and things like that and i thought about this and i thought that i should record a video probably to see what thoughts come right to hear my own thoughts but also to share with you and maybe welcome uh, you with to join the conversation and maybe share your own insight your own thoughts and experiences and wisdom on what do you think this quote means and whether this is something that is still valuable in this day and age where i, I feel like it's next 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 and right where relationship maybe the dignity of women every woman a lot of time is non-existent in the eyes of men and maybe in the eyes of a woman right and as a result all this drama and entanglement and nasty things take place where people use each other abuse manipulate betray and they it's just so i feel like degrading for both parties and you know i was thinking because ever since I, 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 I ever since i can remember i feel like i had this longing right as rumi said i crave a love so deep the ocean will be jealous and i always had this and as i, I grew up right i had this like longing to to have a partner right that you can love deeply and you know create something beautiful and especially as i started you know having my spiritual you know not oh, let's say awake but you know something within you awakens and you realize hey there's more to life than what's visible right and you begin to realize hey through a relationship you can actually access higher realms and you can you know move deeper and deeper into the 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 core of things and discover more about the truth of who you are and how beautiful it is that you can do that with another person and even though I had a period where I, I thought I'm like done, like I'm done with men and it's over. I have this pattern, it keeps repeating my, itself, I'm done, right? And I felt like I was numb, my, my heart was closed. I had no, it was rock, cement, nothing, right? And recently, like a year ago or so, right? I feel like I just opened and all of a sudden I look around and it's like, oh my God, relationships are the most beautiful thing and men are amazing and wow, what a beautiful thing to have a relationship and through it to emerge and come into union and go hand in hand, right? To a common goal and to a place uh, where you can remember who you are and just enjoy this life. And not only that, but remember your divinity, not just alone, but you know, two becoming one. And <laughs> I feel like you're like a child. It's like, ooh, you know, you're like in a, you're reading like um, this fairy tales, and all of a sudden you wake up. And it's like, oh, oh, so this is reality. And I guess my 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 question to myself and to the whole world is like, what are your thoughts? Do you think that is possible? Do you think it's possible to to be in a relationship and to find a partner with whom not only to enjoy a beautiful life but to come together and right walk hand in hand toward divinity and if th this maybe does make sense let me share a story there's this beautiful story of two saints uh, from um, from russia peter and fevronia i think it was peter yeah uh, and um, their story is that she fell in love with him and he was some sort of prince, right? He got sick and she was this girl who could heal through the plants. She had this gift, right? 
and the prince was almost dying and eventually they reached to her as like hey can you help heal him and she told him like i'm gonna heal you but you have to marry me okay leaving aside like oh what is this leaving that aside right and he said okay i will marry you she wasn't i mean yeah he said yes right but then he uh, healed and he didn't uh, he didn't marry her and again he felt sick like almost like to die and again they sent after her and she said i'm gonna heal you but you promised that you're gonna marry me and he married her it's so beautiful he married her and they had like and this is a real story they had such a beautiful uh love story and the way they lived their life in union and there's this uh in their life a story where they were in a boat because he was uh uh sent away from right from his own land because he married this girl that wasn't like she was she was just a commoner right and they got mad and he chose love he, he chose her over you know the kingdom and all these things and they were in a boat and in the water right and uh, there was this man looking at her because she was really beautiful and he was like kind of looking you know like lusting after her and he had also a woman next to him and she said uh, take a take take a seat from the water to your left and he did now take a seat from the right and he did he's like does it taste differently and he said no it's like keep your eye on your wife and i just i i love it i thought like it's so beautiful because i feel like a lot of times right it's so easy to to think that there's always something better out there something out there instead of like you finding a person they think this person's amazing let's build something together i know you're not perfect i know i'm not perfect but i know i want i want to reach a perfect place you know a higher place of a, with you right and buildings for that and they did that and they reached the end of their lives and uh, they both like moved to the monasteries because they wanted like you know they had this like love for god and holiness and they wanted to die together they wanted to die in the same day and uh, and to be buried together and I, I i don't know i think it was her or i don't know which one but she says like this is the night tonight we're gonna leave and they did they died and they both like hand, held hands and they both died together and they wanted to be buried together but of course it was like in the monastery or like orthodox monastery and all the uh the women cannot be buried with the men right this was like right like blasphemy and they didn't they didn't right and they eventually they end up together and they moved and moved probably what what is this and again they were like they were together and they buried them together and for me this is this is an example of what love and a true relationship is and this is something that i am dreaming of and sometimes i feel like luminis how are you gonna die during that and i was like it doesn't matter at least i held on to something that i believe with all my heart and i thought is real and i'm not gonna like settle and, and uh, of course a lot of times like settle 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 it's like no don't settle because right the, the uh, spirit is willing but the flesh is weak and i feel like this is where the man comes in right if you're like you're having this right and you feel like the flesh is weak the man to come and hold the space was like I got you girl i got you i'm not gonna use it i'm not gonna abuse it right i got you i am responsible for your dignity and i'm not, not gonna take advantage of that and i feel like this is where we need to pause take a step back and think about like really think think about this right it is the right of every man to uphold the dignity of every woman let us think about that i'll create space for us to think about and feel free to share your insight your stories your your wisdom and experiences maybe you had some maybe you are in that kind of relationship maybe it's something that you experienced or you knew somebody who experienced and whatever insights you have that would be lovely thank you